I'm Lori, and in this tutorial we're going to jump into the time machine. We're talking about fields, which went hand in hand with broadcast video. Maybe you're creating a memorial, tribute video, or a documentary that includes past events. It's likely that you'll come across NTSC or PAL standard video resolution. You'll notice if you digitize these old videos that you have interlaced footage. The interlaced signal contains two fields of a video frame captured consecutively. Each image is made up of a certain number of horizontal lines. In the case of 30i, the odd-numbered lines are made up of one image and the even-numbered are another image. This creates persistence of vision on a TV, which is an optical illusion that your brain actually blends them into a single image for a smoother playback. However, if you see the same video on your computer monitor, you'll see a combing effect because they were made for progressive imagery and not interlaced. So for this reason, if you plan to upload your final video with interlaced footage to YouTube or Vimeo or any other online platform, you need to deinterlace first or you'll see that combing effect. So how do we achieve this? First, let's see without our plugin, Fields Kit, and then we can see how Fields Kit can help. Okay, let's do it. We start with a simple frame counter animation to demonstrate. There are 59.94 fields in 29.97i, so 60p out is a good idea if you want to go out to YouTube or Vimeo. I can make a sequence from clip, and as I advance frames, the frame counter advances. Okay, we see 0, 2, 4, 6. What happened to the other field? You have to set it to display both fields. We can right mouse click and select fields, display both fields. The other thing is you want square pixel aspect ratio. If you don't do that, everything will be stretched horizontally. Why? Because computer screens display square pixels and NTSC and PAL are non-square pixels because they have scan lines. We set sequence to square pixels. Okay, now we have pillar bands on each side. Now, if we deinterlace to 29.97, we will lose half the information. So why not go to 480 60p with no fields? Then we'll keep all the information and its square pixels, so we'll play fine everywhere like Vimeo and YouTube. Let's switch to a regular video, and if we zoom in, you can see the stepping on the flagpole in the cable car. I can add Fields Kit. If I activate Motion Mask, you can see when I apply Smooth Vertically, I will use 1.2. It will smooth the areas within the Motion Mask. A vertical smoothing filter will be applied to the interpolated pixels to get rid of the jaggy edges. Once you have that part under control, you can scale to 720p, either by pasting the smaller video in a larger frame and then you have room to add graphics and text or scale up using a good image scaler. Image scaling has to be done after. Okay, now let's look at another example. This one we will make 29.97p, no fields. We can interpret footage and turn off fields, and we can drop our clip into the 30p project. We can add fields kit and use motion estimation for the fields as our mode. The way we do that in timing mode is we select motion estimated blend. This mode deinterlaces both fields and then warps the other field to the current one using motion estimation, blending the result frames 50% each. This can give you a cleaner yet possibly softer result. 